Hi YouTube, Art here again with another Warzone audio video and in today's video I have a Season 4 Reloaded update for all of you. The good news? They didn't break audio. The bad news? The game was nearly unplayable for me till about two days ago and I finally got in to test some back pocket settings that I wanted to test and nothing's changed. So in today's video we're going to add to the tuning system that we came up with in the Warzone 2 audio masterclass video that I released at Season 4 launch. We got overwhelming positive feedback on the Season 4 audio tunes. There are some people, though, that still struggle with hearing footsteps specifically. For me, the surround sound tune really helps with location, and I can hear footsteps just fine, but I think that has to do with the definition of these IEMs. A lot of people are playing on gamer headsets, and that's a mixed bag. Some of those are good. Some of those aren't so good. I'm looking at you, Astros. If you want to know more about the difference in tone reproduction, I started talking about that a little bit in my IM review, which I'll link down below. So what I wanted to do with this audio tune, and because audio didn't change, we're going to be able to install another cable on the PC and configure it for the old Season 3.5 tune that used Hisuvi and some tweaks as well as loudness EQ. So, before you watch this video any further, in order for any of this to make sense, you need to go back and watch my Warzone Audio Masterclass. Follow that guide to a T. If you have some issues, some questions, check the pinned comment and then come back to this video because I'm going to address a lot of the issues that you'll have in that and will add to the system that I'm implementing in that video. Linked in the description below is going to be the Season 4 Reloaded download pack. In there is one app that we'll need for this guide, as well as some configuration files that we'll need later on. So I have actually uninstalled the app that we're going to be adding to this whole setup, and so I can start with scratch with you guys. So go ahead and download that app pack. We'll start with the apps folder in it. There'll be a folder called VB Cable. Click through until you get this list of things. It's really counterintuitive. You want to select VB Cable underscore setup underscore X64. You want to right click it and run it as administrator. I don't know why it doesn't do that by default, but it doesn't. Go ahead and click install driver. Click OK. It says you need a reboot to finalize the installation. We're not going to reboot yet. We'll reboot all together later. Next, we're going to want to use configurator from Equalizer APO. So you'll want to go to your start menu. Again, you had to follow the original guide to have all this stuff. So if you haven't, please go back and watch that. In the Equalizer APO folder in your program files, you'll want to run Configurator. Now, this is how you apply Equalizer APO to each audio device. And that's how the tweaks are applied. It also happens to enable the special flag on the device that lets us enable loudness EQ. So this was the step that a lot of people were missing when they couldn't get loudness EQ to turn on on the hi-fi cable. You have to make sure that hi-fi cable is checked. And in our case, we've just added a new cable. It'll be called cable input here. So if you've already done the guide, you should have hi-fi cable checked. And now we're gonna check cable input. Now, before we go on, click troubleshooting here, and if you select the name in blue of each device, you'll be able to see what type of APO is typed, installed, excuse me, on that device. So here you can see that the Hi-Fi cable has LFX GFX on it. That is what we want, and that's the only way Hisuvi turning down the front channel in the original tune will work. A lot of people had problems with this, some hardware installs this as SFX slash EFX by default, and that's incorrect. So you'll want to choose LFX GFX here if you're having issues. Also for cable input here, you'll want to choose LFX GFX if it isn't already selected. And once again, to get there, you have to check troubleshooting and you have to select the name of the device. Once both of these have equalizer APO checked and they're set to LFX GFX like this, you can hit OK. And it asks if you want to reboot. We won't want to reboot quite yet because we're going to have to do this step again. We'll go ahead and click no. All right, forgot a step, so I added a file here. Next, what we'll want to do is you want to find this loudness EQ enable info dot text file inside the apps folder. And we'll want to copy the body of this here, just like in the previous guide. So we'll control C here. I'll type in the Windows search bar PowerShell, and then I'll run this as an administrator. Once that is running as administrator, you'll want to paste that command in and hit enter. You'll press A here to say yes to all. It may be different in your language. And then you'll want to type in the name of the new cable that we just installed. So I'm going to go to the sounds control panel here. 
and you'll see there's a new cable here called cable input. So I'm just going to type the name cable input into the box here and hit enter. You'll see it refresh and now it's done. So if I go to properties on this device, you'll see enhancements are enabled and loudness EQ is turned on, right? So that's how you enable loudness EQ on any hardware device. We're doing it on a virtual device, so it doesn't matter your hardware. More on that later. Now, doing this undoes what we just did with Equalizer APO. So we need to go back to the start menu. We'll need to go to the Equalizer APO folder and run configurator again. Now, you can see because we did that PowerShell command, Equalizer APO is no longer installed in there. It's not checked. So we'll need to recheck it, hit troubleshooting, and make sure one more time that it's on LFX GFX. Once that's done, you can hit OK. And now we will reboot, and I will see you guys here once I'm restarted. OK, I'm all restarted and good to go. I have had a couple people come through the appointments and not be able to do the PowerShell step. I haven't really quite figured out why some PCs can and can't do it. I'm sure somebody smarter than me knows why. If you do, let me know in the comments below but I have found another workaround. Now, it does involve registry editor, and I'm not about to walk you through it, but I'll link the guide below. Um, it shows you where you need to find each audio device to add a string of text to the registry. I'm not about to open that can of worms. If you want help with that, I have links to my appointments below. I will link the guide for those extra brave souls that are having issues with it. It's pretty easy to follow, and I do it reliably every time. Uh, I will give you a hint, if you hit F3 in Registry Editor, you can actually search for Hi-Fi Cable or Cable Output, I'm sorry, Cable Input, and it will help you with this step. But it's pretty copy-paste, I will link it down below. So before we get into resetting up Voice Meter, let's go ahead and rename some of the virtual cables on the PC since we have so many of them now, and we can name them something that will make sense to you when you choose them later inside of Call of Duty. What we'll want to do is we'll open sound control panel. Again, the easiest way to do this on Windows 11 is to hit the Windows key and type MMSYS.CPL and hit enter. On Windows 10, you can just right click the speakers icon and click sounds and the same window will pop up. So I went ahead and reverted all of my titles of the devices back to what they were by default so we could do this together. So let's start with the hi-fi cable. You'll right click the hi-fi cable and click properties. Uh, in the general tab, we'll rename this 7.1 7 plus LEQ. This is the 7.1 surround sound cable plus loudness EQ. I'm going to select that all. I'm going to copy it. And I'm just going to make sure that loudness EQ is turned on and set to short. And I'm going to make sure that it's 24 bit 48,000 hertz here. And then I'll hit apply. And now you'll see it's named 7.1 plus LEQ. Again, this is all covered in the original Warzone Masterclass video for the Season 4 release. Let's double check, make sure it's still 7.1. That is true. We'll go ahead and go to the Recording tab now, and we'll select the other side of this cable. Now, this is how the cables work. They're called inputs because the computer plays back sound on that device, and then it comes out what is the computer thinks is a microphone, and that's actually what you're adding to voice meter, and that's how it gets mixed down to stereo for you. Just a little peek behind the curtain there. But regardless, we'll right click properties here and we'll paste the title in 7.1 plus loudness EQ. And then in advanced again, we'll make sure it's on 24 bit and 48,000 hertz here. We'll hit apply and we'll hit OK. Now, both sides of that cable are named 7.1 plus loudness EQ. We'll move on to the cable input here. We'll hit properties. We'll name this LEQ for loudness EQ. We'll select it and I'll copy it. Um, in enhancements, I'll make sure loudness EQ is on, set to short, and again, in advanced, I'll make sure it's set to 24-bit and 48,000 hertz. Hit apply, hit OK, and then we'll go to the recording tab and we'll hit properties on the cable output. We'll also name this LEQ here, and then under advanced, we want to make sure it's set to two-channel 24-bit, 48,000 hertz, and we'll hit apply and OK. Now, I haven't renamed the voice meter input because that just keeps getting set back to default every time by voice meter, so I just kind of leave that alone. But you want that to be the default device on your desktop. And I'll explain more about that later. But that is essentially voice meter's plain unaffected output that we don't have any effects installed. 
um, and that will be ultimately sent out to your hardware device. In my case, that's my optical. In your case, it could be your headphone port or your Astros. That will be controlled by the voice meter, but we'll talk more about that later. Let's hop into the voice meter setup. So the first device that we'll want to choose here is the 7.1 plus loudness EQ audio device. The next one we'll want to choose in the second slot is LEQ. Both of these are different virtual cables. So each of them will produce sound if they're selected in Call of Duty. Now, if you followed the original guide, you will have chosen your hardware device out here. So that means all sound produced on these virtual devices will be routed out to that hardware device. That is voice meter's job. And that is why I say voice meter input should be your default device. That way when we're watching a YouTube video or a stream or playing a story game that you don't want any tweaks on, the default device is right here. It's this virtual input and it has no effects on it. We've only installed Equalizer APO on this virtual cable here, the 7.1 virtual cable and the loudness EQ virtual cable. And we'll be able to switch between tunings on those in Hisuvi because the EQ done in Equalizer APO is universal between the two. We'll get to that next. Once you've added both these devices, I like to kind of clean up voice meter so it looks nice and simple. And what you can do is you can right click this hardware input title and you can call it whatever you want. For example, I'll call it COD 7.1 tuning here. So when I open voice meter, it makes sense to me. Right here, I'll do COD stereo loudness EQ. And then for this, I'll call this desktop default audio, right? So I know when I look at this, these are all the different devices and this is where the sound should be coming from. Uh, an extra step that I like to do now is I'll save the settings. I'll call it something simple like art setup. I'll hit save and then I'll go back to menu and I'll click load settings on startup and I'll click that settings file. That way it automatically prompts and loads all of these settings at launch. Now just one more time to kind of explain what voice meter is doing here. Its job is to take the output of these virtual cables that we've installed, which have the tweaks and equalizer settings from equalizer APO on them and output them to your hardware device. So for me, that's my optical output here to my GoXLR. For you, it might be your headphone port or your mix amp or your game DAC. That's just the general gist of how voice meter works. That's why you're no longer going to select your hardware device down here. You want to select the Windows default to be the voice meter input because it doesn't have any effects installed on it. This virtual device will still play out over your hardware. If you choose your hardware device, you will not get any sound. So that's an issue that I saw some people having that hopefully this addresses. Another thing that can happen because we've renamed some of the devices, I'll shut down voice meter here to show as an example, is you will get an error sometimes when you launch voice meter here. It didn't do it for me but it'll say error, bad pin out. It's just because you've renamed things. Um, if you really want to get rid of it, you can go to the installer inside of program files, VB voice meter and delete an app in there called VB device checker. That's what I've done. That's why I don't get the error or you can just ignore the error. Either way, it doesn't matter. It's just there because you've renamed things. So now that we have voice meter reconfigured, I want to go over how we're going to be able to switch between the two tunes. Now, Equalizer APO is installed on both the LEQ virtual cable and the 7.1 virtual cable. And the equalizer settings in that art is war config.txt are the same for both tunes. What needs to change is the Hisuvi profiles. So in the download app pack, you'll find a folder called Hisuvi profiles. Inside that, you'll find another folder called profile. And inside that, you'll find two shortcuts, one called 7.1 plus LEQ and one called LEQ, both with the indicated season tunings that they were for. So you'll want to select both of those and you'll want to copy them. Now, we'll want to go to the local disk. We'll want to go to program files. We'll want to go to equalizer APO, config, Hisuvi, and profiles. You won't have anything here. You'll want to paste these in here. So I'll just paste them in for posterity's sake. And now when you open Hisuvi, if you go to the additional tab right here, you'll see you have both of the profiles loaded. Now, what can you do with these? Well, let's launch Call of Duty and then we'll tab out and I'll show you the strength of these. 
We're in Call of Duty now, and I want to show you how you can switch between the tunes, the different audio tunes, whether you want the season four surround sound plus loud and CQ tune, or you want the older, in my opinion, more inferior stereo loud and CQ tune. You can do that with this setup. So I have set up in here currently 7.1 plus loud and CQ. So the important thing here is that it's set to Windows default. This way, Call of Duty understands that you're set up for surround sound, you get the benefit of all the Hasuvi tweaks. So for this setup, if I tab out, what I wanna be sure in Hisuvi, I wanna be sure that this profile is loaded. So I'll select it and click load, and you'll see it's Atmos minus, it's automatic, and the front is turned down. That's right. And so you want this profile loaded, so select it, click load, when you are using 7.1 plus loudness EQ inside of Call of Duty. Now, if you decide you wanna use just the old season three tune, you can select loudness EQ right here. Now, if you tab out, you'll wanna select the loudness EQ parentheses season 3.5 tune and click load. Now you'll see the settings change. It's back to waves minus. It's back to negative seven, negative seven. The front is turned back up and LFE is turned down and then stereo is set here. So those two profiles are switchable based on the device that you choose in Call of Duty. So I just loaded this profile. So in Call of Duty, I wanna be sure that loudness EQ is enabled. So you can hear it is much, much louder now. And that's how you'll switch between the two tunes. Like I said before, the equalizer APO tunings, those files, you don't have to change those. Those all stay the same. All you have to do is change the in-game device that it chooses to output in voice meter and the profile in Hisuvi. The main reason I made this audio tune is because everybody's ears are different and everybody has a different headset. My nice IEMs probably produce the audio cues in the 7.1 setup way better than somebody's Astros. Not everybody has the opportunity to have these IEMs. So I wanted to offer a modular audio tune setup that we can use here moving forward to tweak and tune things to different types of ears. The other thing I wanted to do is offer people that are playing competitively in World Series of Warzone, when they're playing ranked, they can use the broken audio. But if they're playing customs and they wanna get used to what it's gonna be like in London, they can use that voice meter input, which is just normal audio, or they can use that loudness EQ, which they'll be lucky to have at LAN. For the millionth time, this video will only work if you've watched the original Warzone Audio Masterclass that I released at the launch of season four. So go back, watch that, come back, finish this. Hopefully we covered all of the issues that you had. If I didn't, let me know in the comments down below. I try to get back as much as I can. Linked in the description is a Calendly link where you can book 30 minutes where I can set all of this up for you and you get a ticket in the Discord where we can kind of back and forth for about two weeks until we get it sorted. Um, make sure you guys like the video, it really helps me out. Subscribe and click the bell so you know when I upload another one. The next video we're gonna cover a slightly cheaper headset than we covered last time, and we will also be giving it away on the Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash art underscore is underscore war. Until the next video, y'all, I'll catch you later. Peace.